the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, that's being taken to a whole new level with the Route 127 corridor sale. Jason Barto is here to tell us all about it. Yeah, Ali, this massive series of yard sales runs along Highway 127, almost 700 miles. I stopped at one of them in Danville today, but I quickly learned that this bargain shopping event means a lot more to some people than just an average yard sale. Like we say, if they can live with it, we can live without it. That's Alma Louise Adams' motto this weekend as she, her sister, and her grandson sell some items that they don't need anymore. It's something she looks forward to every year. It's a way for us to get together because we, we live so far apart. I had five sisters, one of them passed away, but we, it used to be all five of us would set up. Fittingly called the world's longest yard sale, this four-day event stretches through six scenic states starting in Addison, Michigan, and ending down in Gadsden, Alabama. And it attracts people from all over the United States. That's one of Adams' favorite parts. She remembers a buyer in the past who came looking for some items after living through a severe flood. When she told us what she was doing, we just gave her a whole bunch of stuff because she was taking it to the families in need. And it's, it's meeting people like that. You know that they're still carrying people out there. While some items might not look like much to a total stranger, many of the pieces have a story behind them. The lamp there, uh, I have, it's been in storage since my husband passed away and I just, he's been gone three years in March and I feel it's time to start getting rid of some stuff. Adam says she had a rough life growing up, so going to yard sales is nothing new. But she and her sisters have been setting up at the 127 sale for about 25 years. And selling secondhand has evolved from just a sisterly bond. My husband absolutely loved it. So, he, he, if we were here, he was here. It's all about keeping memories alive while some items get a new life. Adam says this year's turnout hasn't been as high as past years and attributes that to the rain they've gotten over the weekend. But she's hopeful it'll bounce back. Next year for her will likely look a little different, though. She told me she's planning on traveling to the different yard sales, being a buyer instead of a seller.